when I went off to war and came back, I looked up at that that red butte and said I'm home. I don't like to fight, but I will if I think I'm right. When it comes to the land that has given so much to me, I will fight with everything I've got. I've spent most of my life trying to make sure our public lands are well managed, and that our special lands are conserved for the next generation. I believe we need wild lands. We need them for places to retreat and to heal, but we also need them to feed our imagination and our spirit. High Country News is not a party line publication. We are interested in getting to the bottom of issues. And that means we talk to everybody. We talk to the ranchers and the miners. We talk to the environmentalists. We talk to the biologists. We talk to the people in the local community whose lives are at stake and whose economy is at stake. And then we put it all together and we let the readers decide, hey, what do you think of this issue? It's complex. Uh, there's no simple answer. There's no simple answer to any of these things. But here are the facts and um, you can be a more informed citizen because of it. We cover now one million square miles of the West from the Canadian border to the Mexican border and from California all the way to the Great Plains. We consider this whole Western part related and indeed we're connected. The water in the Colorado River itself flows all the way down into California and the Gulf of Mexico. There are public lands in all of these states so there are commonalities about what constitutes the West High Country News is a critical piece of the West. The in-depth reporting and the variety of stories and the places that it covers just aren't covered in any other form of media. It looks into little corners of the West. It gives us all a perspective that we just can't get anywhere else. I just love High Country News. It's been a part of my life really since almost the beginning of the paper. And it's just been an important part of my living out my life in the West. High Country News is the glue that holds a million square mile region together. And of that million square mile region, 500,000 square miles of it belongs collectively to all Americans. And it has some of the most precious real estate on earth. And so an investment in High Country News is a, has enormous leverage. Back in the 1980s, we thought, we'll never get to 10,000 readers. Well, we did get to 10,000 readers. And then the 90s, we thought, we're never gonna get to 20,000 readers. Then we hit 20,000 readers. And now we're, you know, we're pushing up against 25,000 readers. And as the region grows and more people find out about High Country News, I see no reason why we won't double that number in the future. We're gonna be vibrant in both print and online for a long time. You know, I think the good Lord just had his hand on High Country News from the start. And the, the guiding that goes on yet, whether you believe or not, why, uh, <laughs> I do.